the greys, right. They're, they're vampires. Is this where we get our vampire legends? A lot of our vampire legends? I, I don't know about that. I don't know if, if that has to do with it. I, I don't really know. I wouldn't be surprised, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but they feed off the energy. They can even bottle the energy and use it for later times. Um, they're also stealing the vital bodies of human beings um, uh, and storing it. So, I mean, they're just doing some really horrific things here that other races just simply wouldn't conceive of, of doing. Now, are you familiar with Salvador Frechedo? No, I never heard okay, of him. Okay, he's a gentleman who proposes, a, he's a former Jesuit pr priest who proposes the idea that Colosseum type sporting events are used to vampire energy off the crowds. I wouldn't be at all be surprised. Right. It wouldn't surprise me in he the least. He said, like, the, uh, the, the sacrifice of human beings in some ancient civilizations here on Earth was uh, a form of belief system that was set up for these beings to vampire energy off of. I wouldn't be surprised at that either. Okay. Now, um, uh, war. Our wars here. It's 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 the exact same thing. And 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 to all of your 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 viewers, um, I, I'm going to give you some homework. It is an absolute must that you go out and get the book, um, uh, The Gods of Eden by William Bramley. It is an excellent introductory. Uh, book that will bring you right up to speed with what's going on. It is it is over 80% accurate with the information in there, and I strongly suggest that people read it. It's excellent. And the 20% that isn't accurate revolves around what type of ideas? Uh, the, uh, around the, the, the soul and the being um, that we know as Jesus, okay. which I'm not going to go into. Okay. Now, how are the how are we doing on time here? Do you still have some more time? Well, it's, we've come here an hour so far. Well, we'll continue. Okay, you let me know when you okay. need to break. How are the renegade Zeta Reticulans able to manipulate Earth's most powerful governments into a position of checkmate? Oh, it's easy. That was that 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 part was was really easy. Um, number one, their technology is twenty five hundred years more ahead of us. Number two, because of our greed factor, certain groups of of power elite got it, are are in touch with them on a physical level. Well, many of them are implanted. Many of them are so implanted that they have now become part of the gray group mind. And how can you forget this, the image of a human body burning on the altar?
it's very likely that many of the 1,500 to 2,000 member crowd had really no idea what they were actually watching because it was thinly veiled. And the Andromedans no longer considered some of these human beings, Terrans as they call us, human at all anymore. They're nothing but clones for what the Greys want. And they pass down orders, they tell others what to do, and of course the chain of command that we've established on our planet is exactly what's happening. Also, playing on the greed factor, those who are still human, they look at the fact that, well, they're here, they're the rulers, you know, we can still maintain our place of privilege in the world, so we'll form the new priesthood. We'll be the go-between between the workers and the gods, just like we saw in, in, in Babylon, in, in Assyria, uh, uh, Egypt. It's, it's all over again. It's re history repeating itself all over again. Because it's the control factor, the hierarchy is the, the established mode for these negative civilizations to keep their power structure intact. That's right. Okay. You know, and it's another thing, and there's also one more factor. It is about human beings out for power, selling out their own race. The world club. Just selling out the rest of us, the human race, for their moment in glory, for their privilege to be with the gods, so to speak, who are, who are aliens. That's what it is. To have technology that can take them to the moon, to, to have the technology that can take them to Mars, that will give them the technology to do time travel. They totally sold out a race, our history, everything, for their brief moment in the sun. Now, pisses me off. I'm sure when they look back on their lives afterward, they'll, I would assume that they would regret their choice. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How will the renegade Zeta reticulans have to be removed? It's, um, well, if we can create, if humanity makes a real commitment to create an environment of unconditional love and simply refuses to hate, to go to war, to kill each other and destroy our planet, they'll have to leave because they can't deal with the vibration. If we can't, it's going to take outside intervention to get them out of here. Period. 